Today I'm going to show you guys you can actually make good title cards for your music videos. This is the master class of title cards. Make sure you guys watch all the way to the end and also subscribe because we're going to be uploading a tutorial every single day for the entire month of December. And we're also offering buy one, get one free editing packs and plugins over on our website, which we absolutely never do. So go ahead and check out while the time is right and get some new fire effects for the new year. But let's hop right into this. So we got the Central C Booga music video opened up in the timeline here. And let's first find the right frame where we're going to put our title card. Now this will be on your music video. So select the right clip using this method here. So we're looking for something that has a lot of space to fill some parts that we could put a title card in. I really like these scenes here. I really like the way that these look, but we're going to continue looking through here and see what else we can come up with. Yeah, I think that one was the best there. Let's go ahead and use this one here. I like this one where his rings and everything's in focus. So we're going to take a screenshot of this and just call it like screenshot. Hit OK. Now I like to do all of my title cards inside of Photoshop and I'll show you guys why here in a second. So go over and hit open and go to where you saved your screenshot. And we're going to get started right here on this. Now, now, this right here is my title cards V2 pack that we're going to be using in this video, but I'm also going to be showing you guys how you can create title cards like this from scratch. So first, let me show you guys the pack and then we'll hop into how you can create these titles from scratch yourself. So inside of the pack, we have 20 different crazy titles, as you guys can see here, that are all drag and drop inside of Photoshop, super easy to customize. And it comes with the downloads for all the fonts as well. So let's test out one of these on our clip and then I'll show you guys how we can create titles like this super easily using Photoshop from scratch. So the way I would use the title cards V2 pack is I would open up the pack and then let's say I want to see what this one is here. I'd click on the JPEG, wait for it to load. And then if I liked it, let's say we like the way that looks, I would just drag and drop the PSD inside of here. So for the sake of this tutorial, since he's wearing pink, let's go ahead and drag and drop this one in here. And we actually have to double click on it. Once we have everything open, we want to open the text folder here. And then if you click on the text for artist and then click on this right here, you guys can see the font is called Washington and I already have it installed. So pretty much what you guys want to do is just copy this text folder, go over to your image and then just copy and paste it in there. Press command T and we're just going to make it match the size of this right here. We're going to put the title card right here. And then we're going to go ahead and edit it here just by selecting this. I'm going to type on central C looks so fire. And then the song is called Booga. So gas. And then if you guys do want to go ahead and change the color of everything or the curves, you guys just basically want to play around with that here. And then I'm going to go ahead and really just turn down the saturation so we can get it looking a lot more like his sweater there. And boom, you guys can see we have a title card instantly. You guys can turn off the dust and scratches or emphasize them, whatever you guys think is best. Now let's hop into how you guys can make these types of titles on your own. Now the first place I like to start is Defont. I'll go on to Defont. And this is where I look for cool and unique fonts to download for my titles here. So a lot of them are going to be kind of ass in my opinion. But if you go over to a couple settings here, you can really get some cool looks. Now I think the one I like the most... is destroy always has some really cool ones like sidewalk right here let's go ahead and download this one and all you have to do once you download your font is just double click on it double click on it again wait for it to load up hit install and then we're going to open it up back inside of photoshop and it was called sidewalk so let's go ahead and type it in and the best thing about photoshop is it loads instantly we're going to go ahead and scale it down we got central C and we're going to match the exact color of his hoodie. Play around with the positioning of this actually first. So what I'm doing here, since it's all a little bit messed up, is I'm just going to type central and then bring this up here. Click again and type C so we can go ahead and mess around with these a lot more. And I'm going to bring this a lot bigger like this. And then holding command, I'm going to click on both of these and I'm going to move them over to the side right here. And then I'm going to double click on it and opening up our layer styles here. I'm going to go to color overlay, select this box here, and I'm going to take the color from this hoodie and then just brighten it up a little bit here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and right click on this and we're going to copy the layer style. And we're also going to paste it on this one right here paste the layer style. So we have that same text on here and you can also play around with the way this looks here. So let's say we want to put this right here and if we want to have it cover the entire thing or whatever we want to do with it, totally up to you guys. I think if you do go down here, you have to make the text white. That's why I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. So we have a really cool font there. So I think to make this pop a little bit more, we can take the central and we can make it white and just turn off the color overlay here. I think that's really going to make it pop 
a little bit more here. Or we can play with some unique styles by making this one white. It's really up to you guys, but I like the way that this one looks here. And then if I click on these two, press Command J to duplicate them, highlight them, and then merge the layers and then turn off the bottom layers, we can then go ahead and play with some effects inside of here. So I'm gonna add some noise and then I'm gonna turn off Motto. I'm actually gonna leave that on. And I like the way that one looks there with that noise. And then we're gonna go ahead and look up some texture overlays. And essentially what we're looking for is stuff like this that we can kind of put on the borders. So let's do paint. Yeah, we want stuff like this. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it to linear burn. And then we're gonna bring it around the edges here just to add a little bit of dirt. And we're gonna put this below everything. Then we're gonna convert it to a smart object. We're basically gonna move these splatters across the screen just so we get some more depth in some different areas. And then I'll create a empty layer and then drop a little drop shadow in the background and then just turn the fill down just so we can see the text a little bit more. And then boom, you might not be able to use these. I'd recommend actually getting PNGs for it, but I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a PNG here and call it title and we'll bring it back into Premiere Pro here. Once we have it back inside of here, you guys can see how clean this looks, especially on this one scene right here. This is the one I should have done it on because it gives us a lot more room above. And if I go ahead and position it, definitely have to get rid of that shadow there. It's not supposed to be there because it was going to be at the bottom. You guys get the point. You obviously won't have that shadow in yours, but the sauce is the font looking for really good fonts. And then also Pinterest as well. If you go ahead and search up title cards on here, you could definitely find some inspiration and find some fonts on here as well that you can use for your title cards. Like this one here, for example, Seto SB, you can get all of these inspirations on Pinterest and use them towards your own title cards as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you want to grab the title cards V2 pack, you can combine that with another pack on our website for completely free. Maybe you get title cards V1 and V2 together for the same price as just one. Go check it out down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.